take questions afterwards. I'd like to thank Vanderbilt for, for willing to put this together at the last second. Um, this is a game where Vanderbilt wins these type of games, where they're hitting threes. They made seven threes in the first half. The form, their formula for winning is to spread you out, uh, hope you make mistakes to, uh, offensively and turn the ball over, and then just bomb threes and have you chase all over the place. And Pippen was the best player on the floor. So uh, that's their formula for success. I saw it happen in the first half. Uh, I knew it as it was happening. Unfortunately, we weren't able to stop it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, just, every game means a lot. We want to get better. It's not the best team that wins in conference tournaments. Uh, it's the team that's playing the best. So we got to get back to playing really well. I thought this started in practice with a little lack of discipline this week. I thought we practiced hard. I thought we practiced with energy. Uh, but we're not we're not disciplined enough defensively. And, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to you know help our guys get through the tough fat patches here um, the best that I can. But sometimes you know we're, we're going to have to we're going to have to be a little bit more more um, a little more tough defensively, uh, a little more demanding. John, any update on Mikey? Mike uh, sprained his foot or ankle. Uh, not sure what, which one at the end, last play of the first half where he drove baseline and threw the ball across the court. Obviously, without Mike, that really hurt us in the second half. Uh, Mike had to play 40 minutes at the point guard position, which is very difficult, and he was done at the end, uh, as he should because he plays so hard. Um, so, you know, we just don't, 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 don't have a lot of bodies right now. Coach, on, on defense, was it the switching on the hand dribble handoffs, or what do you feel like the biggest issue was to stop? The biggest issue was that our bigs weren't consistent in their ball screen coverages, and um, we weren't – I didn't do a good enough job getting these guys to get up high enough to where Pippen had to play side to side instead of downhill where he can make everybody else better. He's, he's really good. We've seen the young guys have some some big moments here of late. Today, it kind of felt like some of them played like freshmen. Did you? Oh, they're young. See they're that just, as well. It's up and down. It's part of the, part of the ride, part of the ride. And, and I know that. I don't know if they do. You know, we're trying to teach them that. That this kind of it's, it's part of life as a freshman. You're going to go through ups and downs. If you over evaluate each one, it's like you know, anything else. You're not as good as you think. You're not as bad as you think. So don't over evaluate. Uh, you know, game by game and stay, be where your feet are and be willing to come in and try to get better each and every day. John, why was Keith's family able to... Why was scheduling this game important? Why was playing tonight important to you? I just, I thought we already went off, we already had a week off last week before we played the Houston game two weeks ago. I felt like it was important for our guys to play. I mean, they came here to play and I wanted them to play games. And listen, guys. I mean, mo mo I mean, most coaches would have played, you know, Thomas Moore or something like that. We brought Vanderbilt in here, so I think I think we've shown from the beginning. You know, it's it's not about it's not about for me right now the final score. It's about and it will be, but it's about it's about the growth of this program and, and getting those young guys where we need to get them and trying to do the best we can with our older guys and prepare ourselves for next you know next Friday at three o'clock. Do you feel you can still take benefits from this, whether it's showing them things on film or? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, in, in our preparation. What were your thoughts on Scotty Pippen Jr.'s performance tonight? I mean, I mentioned it already. I told you what I thought he was. And uh, as far as his, I mean, he just creates so many opportunities for his teammates. He's got tremendous pace. Um, I think he knows how to lean his body certain ways. I think he knows how to, uh, I think he gets calls. I think that helps too. Uh, but I think he's a really, really great, really good player. Obviously, he's a great player. I mean, the numbers he has, he just – he continues to get better the more you watch him on film. John, when your team got it down to seven points in the last few minutes, you had more than a few possessions to dent that deficit. Just how frustrating is it to kind of see how things played out? Because you had chances a few times there. Really, really. bad possessions, Jeremy. Some really bad. And I'll look back on it and see if I shouldn't have pulled it out and ran some action. That's on me. But I felt like the free-flowingness of when we share the ball and stuff, we just – just made really bad decisions. Our, our, our youth showed up late in the game. Were you aware of the officiating confusion late in the game on, on Tari's free throws? I was not until recently. I guess it was 10 fouls, supposed to be a two shot bonus, two shot? I believe so. Uh, media member told me when I walked back out, the officials never mentioned it to him. What did they do? Just changed it? 
It looked like there was the scorebook had nine. It was ten. Yeah. Last week we had a, seven, we had a last week we had a ten second uh, backcourt call that was only seven seconds on the shot clock. So we got we got clean up some areas. How much John, I know the end, how much at the end of that second half do you just think was fatigue uh, with you know playing shorthanded and especially with not having Mikey for that that second half as well. Yeah, you got uh, Shuey at 40 minutes, Jeremiah at 37 minutes. Those guys play with a ton of energy. But Mason Matson is playing 32 minutes. I don't think Keith came out in the second half. But the biggest thing is that guys just weren't able to come out of the game. John, I, I know you talked about this group being young. How, how much of not just Sunday's game, but getting ready for next Friday is towing the line between building their confidence and preparing them uh, to be ready for a run? Well, I think that they've got to be, we got to be honest with ourselves. So you got to be 100% responsible, all of us, me, including every guy in this program. So if you're honest with yourself and say, okay, I'm willing to come in and get better at the things we need to get better at and understand that the coaching staff has done this plenty of times before, uh, particularly my background in conference tournaments, then we'll, we'll be ready. But if we come with the poor me's and the, you know, uh, you know not, not a willingness to accept the truth, uh, then we won't. So, but, but every, that, that's every coach in the country. Okay. So I love this team. I, we, we whip that thing around. We're, we're going, we're, we're going to be really good. It's just, we make poor mistakes. And right now uh, we don't, we don't defend. We need to. And some of our, you know, you know, on the court decision-making is. Uh, a lot of the so I don't know, you know, but I got to ask, is your plan to play Mikey on Sunday or is it to just get him healthy for the tournament? I, I have no idea how injured he is. It's gotcha. possible for me to answer. Just in general on Sunday, you're kind of locked in conference tournament wise. And obviously, you know, shorthanded, we talked about the depth. So, so what do you hope to accomplish or take away from it? We're going to go and play well. We want to win games. We want to win as many games as we can. So, bottom line, it's, it's, it's why you play the game. You play the game to win it. And, you know, whether, you know, appreciate the people that were at the crowd today. Hopefully, it's, a, you know, obviously next time we're in here, there's 13,000 people because I think we'd be a lot better and we'll be a lot better. But, you know, I hate it for our seniors because I was hoping to help them a little bit, you know, try to try to get a win here on the court for the last time. But, you know, wasn't, wasn't in the cards tonight. Vanderbilt played, give them all the credit in the world. They played the way they need to play to win, and uh, we weren't able to stop them. Anything else for Coach? All right, thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, sir.